Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In the continuation of the Click Cloud Data Integration Series, this video will cover the Data Mart asset or the Data Mart task that you will see me create within the Data Pipeline view. Now, before we continue, I do want to make you aware that there is a Click Cloud Data Integration playlist available in the Click YouTube channel as well as the Click website if you don't have access to the YouTube channel. Note that there are brief presentations as well as basic walkthroughs available. So for this presentation, I'm going to do a speed run, basically just show you the process of how we can create a multidimensional data structure from this denormalized data that I'm using within MySQL. Think of it as a transactional system. We have our redundant data and we want to create a multidimensional star schema to increase performance, simplify queries, etc. So I'm already in my Click Cloud data integration area in my Click Cloud platform. I'm under data projects. I'm going to create a new data project. We'll call this one Data Mart Video. We'll choose the space that we have set up for this. And based off of the target cloud platforms that are available, as you've seen in the other videos, I'm just going to choose the existing one that I have for Snowflake. I'll choose onboard data, which will create the landing and storage data assets, and we'll keep the names default. I'm going to choose MySQL as my data source. And then choose the fruit veg sales small table I showed you a moment ago. We're only going to worry about replication with current data only and click finish. So this creates the landing and storage data assets. I'm going to prepare the onboarded landing asset. And I'm also going to edit the name and we're just going to call this raw sales data OLTP for online transaction processing. Now for the storage data asset, we're just going to call this one standardize. Click save. Let's go into the storage data asset. I'm going to rename this data set. Standardized data. I'm going to add a global rule to convert all W string data types to string 50 data types. And I'm going to specify the keys that I will need for my multi dimensional data structure store code, item code, and region code. I will prepare and go back to the pipeline view. Next, we're going to use a transform data asset. And then we're going to use what's called SQL based data sets. We're going to now break up the redundant data and create unique dimensional tables from that, from the standardized data set. So I choose this data set and select add SQL based data set. And the first thing we're going to do is grab the unique store code and store names. And you can see this will create a new data set with store code and store name. And we're just going to call this stores and click OK. Now I'm going to repeat that process for regions and items. Okay, we have our dimensional table structure and I need the one with the quantitative data in it. So we're going to add that, which is the original data set. 
and we're going to rename this facts. Next, I'm going to go to my data sets and I'm going to define the structure I need to create my relationships. For items, we select item code. For regions, we select region code. And for stores, we select store code. Then for our facts, you can see these are already been selected. I do not need store name. I do not need region and I do not need item because they will be in my dimensional tables. So I'm going to remove those. Next, we'll go to the model tab within the transform. We can build relationships or we can select the recommended relationships. And it gets this from the key structure. You can see the various keys. Very important to click apply. We can prepare the structure, go back to our pipeline view, and now we are ready for the Data Mart asset. Data Mart assets can be created off of the transform asset. I'm just going to leave the name default. Here you can see add star schema. We choose our fact, click OK, add our dimensions, regions, stores, and then items. I choose my facts, select the recommendations, select all, and click apply. And this creates the star schema. So this is actually going to create the structure in Snowflake along with the surrogate keys that it creates. So we'll have the natural business key and we'll also have the surrogate keys. We'll click prepare. Going to go back to the pipeline view and we're going to start running our tasks. So now running this particular task is taking the data from MySQL, it's loading it into the landing schema on Snowflake. Think of this as the raw preparation data area that the rest of these data assets are going to work from. Now we'll run standardize, which adds the keys that we defined as well as standardizes on the data types. Now we'll run the transform, which is going to now break up the larger data set into the individual dimensional tables. And now we're going to run the data mart data asset, which will create a final schema for our reporting and analysis, breaking up the individual tables with the appropriate surrogate keys and the fact table linkages for the dimensions and facts. Now I will bring up the database management utility. I'm going to refresh my snowflake. Scroll down to my sample database that's been defined for me in Snowflake. And you can see we have our final data mart structure. And you can see we have facts, item, regions, and stores. Let's look at items. There's our surrogate key, our natural key, and our description of the item. And we can do that for regions. And we can do that for stores. And then we can look at the data and the facts. And there we go. Now we have our star schema or our multidimensional data model that then can be used by any other reporting and analysis tools, including ClickSense. Okay, so that's the end of the speed run. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I will create another video that's going to be a lot longer that will take its time going through each of the steps and describing what's going on. So that will be next once this video has been published. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.